What's up everyone? My name is Anushwar and this is the sixth video tutorial for the action script. So in this tutorial we will not be discussing anything from this further. Rather than we will be discussing something about buttons and code snippets. I got lots of comments on what, uh, how to use the buttons and uh, some of the users were having the problems. So I'll try to, try to resolve the problems. So first of all go to flash new document. Action script 3.0. So I'll create a little animation. Uh, just draw a rectangle tool, group it, go to frame 50th, insert keyframe, on create classic screen. Okay, on first keyframe, it's here. On the 50th keyframe, it's like here. Press Ctrl and to test the movie, so it's working fine. So now create two new layers. Name this layer as animation. So now on the second layer, we'll be using uh, actions and actions actually. And on the third layer, we'll be creating some buttons. What buttons are? I'll be just telling you in a moment. But let me first create then. I'll be using different colors for buttons. Select the rectangle tool or press R and select a different color for the button. Okay. So you've created a button. Uh, so let's get it on the text toolbar by pressing T and just write something like play. You can decrease the font from here. Just gonna go for 30 for now. And okay, uh, and then change its color from. You can change it from here, white. Okay, it's pretty much a basic button. Press the selection tool, grab hold of everything inside the button, and group it. You can group it from modify and group. So it's now a single piece or a group. If you want to change the grouping double tap it you will get inside group and you can change everything inside it okay so now created the button make sure you have created the button in the button layer so now we are going to give an instance name for the button but first of all we will like to make it a button uh, right click on the button and click on convert to symbol click on button so now uh, change the name you should name your buttons play btn uh, if you okay nothing press ok so you'll see an instance name here we used an instance name on our text toolbar in our previous video tutorial if you haven't watched the previous videos its links are given in the playlist below okay so I'm gonna change this instance name to the same as its name its name was play btn underscore btn play underscore btn if you try to uh, name it play it will not uh, it will show an error actually it's an invalid instance name because uh, play is already a keyword in flash so it will not take it this play btn it's an instance name so this has an instance name so we'll be using code snippets whenever uh, so I got this question from is the orange knight uh, so how do you use uh, button to start a video so man go to button and now we'll be using code snippets so click on the button and go to windows and you'll see code snippets here or otherwise you can click on code snippets from here it's right here so click on the button window code snippets so on the code snippets you go to timeline navigation and go to click to go to frame and play and double tap it you'll see a bunch of big codes uh, don't get frightened to see this there are some instructions you can read it these are just comment so compiler will ignore all this this is just comment you can just uh, read it it's very very simple so basically your code starts from here to here so instead of fifth frame 
what this button will do as soon as we hit this button uh, our flash timeline will move from first frame if we specify it as like this oops sorry oh my god what I'm doing okay so make it as first so what will happen now as soon as we hit this button so our flash timeline will play from first to 50th keyframe so it's playing so now we want to hit the button it's again playing from first frame like I hit it again I hit it again 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 so I want this one more thing we want the script to stop so just write down stop we also learned this from the previous videos and two parentheses and of course a semicolon you don't have to learn this function this event listener this mouse event listener uh, I'll be discussing these codes in the next future tutorials as I told this this is a question answers video for this or a is the orange night and this I love JJ forever okay so let's press control enter the crest uh, the script is now stopped as soon as you hit and play like now it will play okay simple as that what's up everyone in the previous video discussed about buttons we uh, made a play button which plays the animation so I got a question from I love JJ forever uh, he wants to make a step button that uh, moves his actions from up to 10 and then it stops and up to 10 and then stops again and again and again so we can move it we can create another button actually we can create in this layer button layer on only so same procedure so take the rectangle tool select the color of a button so take the text box step Ooh. change color as white oh sorry sorry just gonna group it and convert a symbol button step library oh no instance name I'm just gonna give it step okay so far so good so go to again code snippets from here or just go to code snippets from here window code snippets and now on the code snippets go to click to go to frame and play first I will remove this command we did in this previous video also so whenever this button is clicked we want it to play from frame 1 and uh, we want it to stop at frame 10 so at 10 insert a keyframe on the animations layer sorry sorry not on the animations layer on the actions layer actually on the actions layer insert keyframe and then go to actions on the we want the script to stop and then again when it's pressed it should move to another 10 keyframe so what it should do is when we press step it should move first 10 frames and when it's again hit again so it should move again so we'll be using it again and again this code snippet so go to windows uh, code snippets go to frame and play so cut this and so you want to play from frame 11th cross it so let's test the movie so when we hit the step button what it does it moves from frame 1 to frame 10 and at frame 10 it sees a bunch of code it says stop 
so it stops the animation there and it's again when okay let me show you so frame 1 to 10 it says stop at the frame 10 and when step is again played it moves from frame 11th to frame 20th oh not frame 11 to frame 20th frame 11th to frame 50 very easy you can include one more step here insert keyframe at frame 20 steam steps I should f copy that code instead go to frame 10 and press F8 I think it's F8 for shortcut no F9 so what happened right now is when I pressed F10 my Camtasia recording software just stopped how foolish of me so I'm making this recording uh, it's right now 12 o'clock at midnight I'm making this video right now so copy the video sorry where was I copy the code from the 10th keyframe and paste it on the 20th keyframe don't forget to change the function name change it like to anything I'm changing it to 4 you can change it to anything this is a function name we'll come back to functions later in the later part of the videos but for now let's keep it just simple let's save it and test the movie by pressing control into when you press the step button it stops at 10 and again at 20th and it's oh it's a bug go to again we do not change it from 11th we need to get it 21st so that as it reaches 20th it sees a bunch of code and it whenever the step button is clicked it reaches to 21st keyframe and plays along so your first question has been successfully solved you asked this first question thus your second question was how to play your movie from entirely so if we click on this have I made this button okay I haven't made this button so if we make this button by pressing this and uh, code snippet timeline navigation go to frame and play and uh, let's remove the comments and uh, let's make it go to and play from first this is the restart button actually not the play button restart button button Ooh, okay okay we got an error see it's saying duplicate function definition it's probably because uh, it's the same function let's make it a 5 fifth function you should be more careful with function names okay let's control enter no errors right now so step work and function is working fine but we want play function to play entirely but as we play uh, click on play button uh, it's not playing it's again stopping so what do we do now it's we make a new scene so insert insert scene and you can change scene from here a small button so go to scene 1 and copy all your layers except for actions layer copy layers and go to scene 3 actually it's scene 3 I'm sh showing here I don't know why and paste it here delete this layer which was actually present before and uh, that's it so go to scene 1 and uh, remove the code that we just placed right now and uh, instead of this click on this play button and go to window select code snippets and go to uh, click to go to next scene and play so what it will do it goes to next scene and it will play as it is uh, so let's test the movie step function is working fine stopping at every 10 frames and we can you can make that later on so when we play the play button it's moving awesomely amazingly so your again second question has been uh, successfully uh, okay you got it you got the point I'm really tired right now so let's it's really really good 
thanks for watching the video uh, please do ask question if you have any please read through the codes if you do not understand uh, it's okay it was just a question answer video for these two channels I love JJ forever and uh, is the orange knight okay thanks for watching the video please do subscribe and like if you just made something knowledgeable out of this video bye bye